Lucas Dragosimic and Dragosimic again comes in front of Lavoie the wraparound try and he missed the far post. Here is Gagne. Up the boards, puts it out in front, a good chance, they score! Philip Kemp at the top of the right circle, goes underneath the bar, and the Condors take a one nothing lead, two and a half minutes in. Yeah, good start for the Condors, and a great play by Sam Gagne with patience, and found Kemp on the far side, sneaking in from the defense by himself. and Down the wing, he's knocked aside by Lynn as the puck comes out in front, Kemp bites a quick shot, saved by Drieger, and he has to reel in the rebound as, as quick as possible. Yeah, really good save there by Chris Drieger. Making the stop and then going out and finding the rebound. And again, a missed coverage in the defensive zone. And we've seen a couple of those early in this hockey game. Goes high over top of the net as well. Gleason finds himself in the corner. Borgo behind the net for Ernie. Ernie on the backhand, left-hand side. Here's a shot by Hoffenmeyer and a glove save by Chris Drieger. And he holds on. 7.57 to go, period one. A one nothing lead for the Condors here in Akershire Arena. The line, a loud clear that goes off the glass. Yeah, maybe checking to see if Rodrigue's paying attention or not. And never a bad idea. Borgo gets it over the Firebirds line. A chance for Lavoie. He scores. Carter Savoy right in front. Gets it through Chris Drieger. A power play goal for the Condors. They lead it 2 nothing. Damn it. Just kind of looked like a harmless play to start with and just kind of flipped it and instead Carrick for McCormick. Blue line handle left point Carrick. Lind up top. A wrist shot. Glove save. Rodrigue. A good one on Cameron Hughes. Yeah, and a good job of moving the puck quickly. And that's something they're gonna have to do against this penalty kill as it's very aggressive. And they do a good job of go. Right, work past John Hayden. Ernie gets it back right in front of the Firebirds net. He'll circle around the near wing. Ernie right side for Cam Denis. Denis moves it around the boards. Lane Peterson wrapped up by Dragas Civic. Moves on. Petman goes one on two. He'll slow down, waiting for some help. Petman turns it across. Dragas Civic off the post. Lucas Dragas Civic looking for his first in the American Hockey League, but he meets the iron. Yeah, good play there by Pepman to find Travis Civic coming in on the rush, and he did everything but score. Pocek at the blue line, turns it the other way for the Condors, and now Olofsson carries it past the blue. Firebird set it up, Shore from McCormick, he scores! <laughs> Max McCormick gets the Firebirds on the board and makes it a one-goal game. 16.55 to go in the third, it's two on Condors. Yeah, and a great job there by Devin Short to kind of battle to corral that puck and get it across. Make something happen out there. Yeah, he's been the Firebirds best player in this one so far. Student H trying to drive to the net again, comes up a shot, they score! <laughs> Student H sets up Jimmy Schultz and the Firebirds tie it. Two quick ones early in the third, it's 2-2. Yeah, the Firebirds have hit. Oh, Hoffenmeyer out to center over the line. Griff with a good pass down low. And great save, Chris Drieger. Another chance in the front of the net. Pinballing in front. It's under Cameron Wright. They're looking for it. Griffith gets it back. Shot gets blocked. Picked up by the Firebirds. And they get out to center ice. McCormick dumps it in. This will be. Went up so high, but again, never a bad idea to shoot the puck. Hoffenmeyer the other way as the Condors set up. Ben Gleason. Left circle, Hoffenmeyer, his shot absorbed by Trigger, and he hangs on. 5.49 to go, period number three, and it suits you again. As this one, searching, just flipped it up over top of Rodrigue, but it cleared the top of the net as well. Inside the final minute of overtime, Lynn falls down, Broberg, and he scores! Philip Broberg, and the Condors win it in overtime. The Firebirds get a point. But the Condors come out with two, which helps them in the Pacific Division standings. 47 seconds remaining in overtime, and Broberg gets the game winner. Yeah, an unfortunate little breakdown, and Broberg does a great job of just hanging on to the puck.